Hello my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I've got a lipstick declutter video to share with you guys. This is not the first one I've done, this is the third one. So definitely go and check those out if you like these kind of videos and you want to see more. Um, it's just time to do it again. I don't know about you, but lipstick is something I'm constantly picking up. First of all, you know, you go to the drugstore, there's so many new things to try out, and they're affordable. You know, for a few bucks you can get a new lipstick, and plus subscription boxes. First it was Ipsy, I got Ipsy for about a year. You got a ton of lip products in that. Then there was BoxyCharm, we're still getting lip products, so I just find they just add up quickly. And I would much rather pass the ones that I know I'm not going to use along to my mom or my sister or someone that I know will get more use out of it than I will. I don't, I'm not the type of person that likes having too much of something for books and nail polish, hence the name of this channel. But anyway, let's just jump right into it. We're going to be vicious. We are going to be savage. We are going to get rid of what we know we're not going to use. We are not going to hang on to them because what if, or maybe someday, no, no, we're getting down to business today. And I got my bag here beside me. Let me show you. It is full. <laughs> and we're going to... We're going to get rid of it. Trixie's ready. Trixie's feeling the feelings. Okay. I'm just going to reach in, pull out whatever comes out, and we're going to get started. So the first one here is from um, Soap and Glory. This is one of their uh, Sexy Mother Pucker lipsticks. I love this. My sister actually brought this back for me from Arizona last winter. This is the color here. And I love this, and she's not going anywhere. This one is in the shade Wine Not, and I love it. So we're keeping her. <laughs> okay, this one is from Jordana. This is Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain in the shade Nude Chic. I love these. We don't have these here in Canada. Oh, they smell so good. Um, we don't have these here in Canada. Let's just see what the swatch on this one looks like. Um but I do like them. However, this one just isn't my shade. Um, I like the color. It just doesn't look great on me. It kind of makes me look a little corpsey, and that's not a good look for anybody. Unless that's the look you're going for. <laughs> this from Burt's Bees. I love these Burt's Bees lipsticks. This one is in the shade 520 Scarlet Soaked, and I absolutely love it. It's just the perfect red. The Burt's Bees formula is so soft and so comfortable, and I'm keeping it <laughs> because I use it all the time, all the time. Next up, this is from Stila, and it's one of their Stay All Day liquid lipsticks. I love these lipsticks, and they aren't messing around when they say they're not going anywhere. They are not going anywhere, and this is in the shade Rubina. Just a simple doe fit here. A one word of caution I will give you about the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks is that they can be a bit of a mess to put on. They're very um, thick and liquidy and you can very easily make a mess with them. Lord knows I have. And they dry quickly and once they dry, they're dried. So if you, if you mess up, make sure you get to it quickly or else... Okay. This is from the brand, <laughs> the Beauty Crop. I got this in a boxy charm. Now, it's your typical doe foot applicator. It's a color that's very me. I love this color, but I cannot stand this formula. It is, um, it's actually what I have on right now. It gets so dry and crusty and disgusting. I put on a Marc Jacobs lip gloss over top and even that barely saved it. It still doesn't look right. And if the Marc Jacobs lip gloss can't save you, nothing can. <laughs> Start getting rid of it. <laughs> okay, this is another one of those uh, Jordana lip crayons. This is the Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain. And this one is in the shade Cranberry Crush. And I love this one. And it also smells amazing. So it just looks like that there. I love it. And I'm going to be keeping her. Okay. I feel, like, I feel like we're making some progress. 
Okay. This is from Maybelline. It's the Superstay Matte Ink. It is a red. Ooh. Oh, these, these, I find these smell so terrible. Like, what's that? What's on the tip of this brush? Ugh. Um, these smell bad. They, I mean, they look fine. The formula is fine. They just, they don't smell good, and I never, ever reach for it. So, as much as I love reds, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass her on. This is from e.l.f. It's just one of their, <clears throat> excuse me, one of their lip scrubs. I love it. So we're keeping her. She's not really a lipstick. She's not, she's not really part of this. She doesn't go here. Okay, this is from ColourPop. This is in the shade Lock Diary. This came from BoxyCharm. Okay. So it looks like this. <clears throat> I'm going to keep this, even though it's not something that I often reach for, because I think maybe in the summer, I might. I struggle a lot with pinks. So often, pinks are too light for me, but this one isn't. It's dark enough that it looks a little darker on my lips, and it's one of the few pinks that I can get to work for me. So it's not the right time of year for it, of course, but I'm going to keep it. Okay. This is from Sonia Kashuk. There's no color name on it, but it's in packaging like this, and the color looks like this. And this sits here. Again, this is kind of a pinky, isn't it? I absolutely love this. There, so I will be keeping this one because I use it a ton. Okay, I feel like, doo -doo -doo -doo. it's so exciting. Oh, this, this is a keeper. This is the Melted Matte. This is their Christmas edition. It smells like Gingerbread Man, and I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Gingerbread Man from Too Faced. It smells amazing. I love the color. I had been thinking it was going to be more of a reddish because on the um, website, they kind of described it as like sort of a burnt spiced red when to me, it's definitely more of a brownish orange, but I love it. I'm keeping her. I feel like we're not doing very good as of yet. As of yet. There's still plenty of time. Okay, this is Rich Girl Red from Revlon. Sort of a orangey, like a light orangey red. And I love this, especially in the summer. I find it just like the perfect summer red. Rich Girl Red. Love it. <laughs> oh, I love this one too. This is from Bite Beauty. I absolutely love Bite Beauty. This is the shade Verbena. Let's see what we got. It's a really nice mauve -y sort of color. Again, I do reach for that one a lot. So we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it. Oh, this. I recently, look at the mess this packaging makes. Why? <laughs> Why Physician's Formula? Like, all I do is take the top off and put the top back on. But some, see, I hate this. Okay, look. Look at the top of this lipstick. Why? Why is it like that? I find it really hard to put on because it's all just edges and points. Um, but I just got this not too long ago. It's from the Physician's Formula um, 80 year anniversary or 70 year anniversary. It's even got like, oh my god, if you can read it at all. Physicians for me, like 1937 written on there. So I got it because I was like, oh, cool. It's, um, you know, limited edition, commemorative. And I love the color, which is um, berry. But I don't like the, <laughs> the tip. But we're going to keep it just because I just got it. Okay, this is one of the Maybelline metallics that they had recently come out with. This is the red in the shade Hot Lava, and I am going to keep this because we just got it. But there's another one that we'll get to eventually that's going to go, just because it's not a wearable shade for me. This Katy Perry Red E to Pounce color, it's the Katy Perry Cover Girl, looks like this. I, I don't like it at all. It's the pearl. So we're gonna get rid of her. Get out of here. 
Tristique. This is one of those lip crayons. It's got the sort of lipstick at this end. And then over on the other end, it's sort of like the gloss. And my mom got this in a FabFitFun box and she passed it on to me. So I'm going to keep that for a while because I have been liking it quite a bit. Okay, so this one, this one is from Tarte. It's one of their Tartist um, lip paints. I love the formula of these, but this freaking color, I don't know. Let's see. Well, this is it here. I'm going to keep this and try it because when I swatch it, it doesn't look so bad. We'll see. I'm going to keep working with it just because I love these, but the color is not a color I would ever choose on my own. But we shall see. This is another one of the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. It's one of the minis. I got like a mini collection last year. This is in Basil, um, and it's just a gorgeous, like, true, pure red. And I'm keeping it. Again, with this, you got to move fast, and it's easy to mess up, and it dries really fast, so if you mess it, you got to get in there right away and, and fix it. And I'm speaking from experience here, so... Okay, this is one of the CoverGirl O Sugar Lip Glosses. I think I have another one of those in here. Yes, okay, so I have two of these. I have Punch and Gumdrop. I love these. I've used one up already. Um, they smell so good. So I'm going to keep one and I'm going to get rid of one just because I don't need two. Uh, on the go and then when I use it up I can replace it so these are just sort of sheer tinted bombs and I think I'm going to keep gumdrop the, the sort of purpley one um, and get rid of punch okay next up oh I loved these from last year this is from L'Oreal they put out this collection of three little lipsticks like this. I think I've already decluttered one, um, but I kept this one and I absolutely love these. I don't know what the color is. Oh, yes, I do. Um, spice me up. Spice me up. Smoke me up. Smoke me up. And I love these. I'm keeping it. We're going to come to a red one, too, and I already know I'm keeping that one as well. This is from Revlon. I love the Revlon lipsticks in the black classic packaging. This one is Wine With Everything, um, and it's just a gorgeous, deep sort of oh, wine color, as the name tells you. So I'm going to be keeping her as well. This is from NYX. It's one of their soft matte lip creams, and it is in the shade Madrid. Um, I like this. I just never reach for it, so I'm going to pass that on. Get that out of here. <clears throat> Mark Jacobs. This is one of his amazing lip glosses. It's the Enamored Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Rebel Rebel. I love everything about these glosses. I love the doe foot. They're kind of really bendy, as you can see there. I love it. it. makes putting it on so easy. I love the smell. I love the formula. I love all the colors. I can't wait to one day hopefully get more. And for now, I have this one, and it's a dream. Okay, what's this? Shine Shot from Maybelline. They put these out around the holidays last year. It's like a glitter top coat, only it isn't. It's not. It's this prismatic lip top coat. It's not. It, it, it's just not. So I'm going to get rid of that because I was wildly disappointed with that. This um, Allegory Story lip gloss. I love the packaging. It's so pretty. It came in a boxy charm, but it's just not my color. As you can see here, it's just... It's just brown. That's not a lip gloss color I tend to reach for. So we're going to get rid of her. <clears throat> this was from Revlon, one of their HD um, matte lip colors. And this is one of the metallics that they released. Um, 
These smell so good. And I love the original Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lipstick. I love those. I love them. This, the metallics are fun. This color is just, it's not for me. Also from Bite Beauty, this was the first ever Bite Beauty lipstick that I got sometime last year. And it's in the shade Beetroot. What is wrong with it here? <laughs> um, I love that color. It's perfect for winter time. This here is from NYX. It's one of their Intense Butter Glosses. It's in the shade Apple Crisp. It's just a bright red. Um, nothing wrong with it. I just, I have enough red and I never, ever reach for it. Ever. <laughs> this is from Revlon. It is in the shade Supernatural. It's one of their glosses. I do like these glosses. Um, I will keep this one. I do like this one. <laughs> okay, I feel like we're getting somewhere here. This was one of those, remember back a while ago when the lipsticks with the flowers inside were all the rage? I had purchased one. I would gotten one for me and one for my sister for her birthday that year. And I don't really use it, but it's just sort of fun to have around. So I keep it, I keep it around for that. Okay, it's time to let this one go. This is from Winky Lux. I got this in a Marzia box, um, I don't know, a year or so ago. It's way too light for me, I can't wear it, but I loved the packaging and that made me keep it. But no more. No more. <laughs> okay, this is from Colourpop, even though all of the things that would identify it as Colourpop are gone. This is, okay, uh, what it looks like. I have nothing against this. I just never use it. I think it came in a boxy charm again. It is my color. Like, if I was going to pick a color, it would be this. But I already have so many in that color that I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. This is a lippy stick, again, from ColourPop. This is in the Kathleen Lights Lumiere creation. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let's see. Just a really pretty mauve. Mauve. I will be keeping this one. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's getting so dark so early. It's only, let's see. Um, four o'clock. And I feel like I'm almost sitting here in the dark. <laughs> so let's hurry and get through it. Okay, this is from... My beauty again. This is in the shade Leche. Um, and it's just, I stuck it in there. It's pretty, but it's not for me. Not a good color for me. This is the other L'Oreal one. There was a spike me up, and this one is Forgive My Sin. Love it. Okay, this is from Juice Beauty. Again, this came in a boxy charm. This smells so good. What's this? Okay. Mm, it smells like lemons. This is one of their glosses. Um, I don't use it a ton, but I do use it. Like, I used it yesterday. This is really pretty, pretty, and I love Juice Beauty. It's, I love, it's all natural, and you can't beat that. Oh, my friend Marie sent me this. Um, it's this little lip gloss in the shade Tickled. It's got the name Marie on there. And I just love it. I don't use it a ton ton, but it's very pretty. It's one of the, it's very sheer. So even though it's very light, I can still use it because it's very light, very sheer. <clears throat> what do we have here? Ofra in this shade Santa Anna. I absolutely love this. I don't use it a ton in the fall, but I do in the summer and also in the winter, strangely enough. Um, oh my Lord ton of product on that. Ooh, okay. Just your typical doe foot applicator. A little overzealous. All right, we're gonna keep her. Do, do, do. This is another one of the Ultra HD Metallics from Revlon. Let's see. 
kind of like this one. It's this one up here. Am I going to use it? I don't know. I'm going to hang on to this one just because I do. I am a little more drawn to it than the other one. <clears throat> Another one of those Revlon classic lipsticks. This one's in the shade Certainly Red. And I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, oops. This is a little tiny Tardis lip paint that I never... Look, I have my Christmas tree up and you can kind of see the lights reflecting on the lipstick. Um, gonna get rid of this. Okay, what do we have here? Oh. <laughs> this was one of those Maybelline metallics. I'm very intrigued by this color. Like, I want to love you. I want to love you, but I just don't. It's too purple. It doesn't look great on me. You gotta go. You gotta go. That's it. That's all there is. To it. This little baby from Urban Decay. I got it as a freebie. It's for one time. Again, it's very cute. I want to love it, but it's too purple. And I just don't. And I hang on to it because it's the only Urban Decay lipstick I own. But, like, what's the point? <laughs> Here I've got a Jeffree Star Cosmetics lipstick. Um, I'm going to hang on to this one for now. This is in the shade Red Rum. It's the only Jeffree Star product that I own. Um, but I just, I love the shade of the red. It's so pretty. Here we've got another little melted matte from Too Faced. This came with the Boss Lady Too Faced Agenda palette. Oh my god, they smell so good. I'm gonna keep her. Are we making any progress? I think so. I think we are. Okay, who are you? Um, with a smile? I think this is called with a smile. This is from the brand Pretty Vulgar. I love the packaging. This is just sort of a mauve, mauve color. It's very pretty. Um, I don't know. I love the packaging. They got the little name on top there. It's so nice. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this one for now. As well as her sister that's just sort of a sheer gloss. Uh, I'm going to hold on to her too. Because they're very pretty. Such pretty packaging. Okay, we're getting to the bottom, you guys. We're making it. We're getting there. This is another tiny Tardis lip paint. But I don't use it. I never use it. We're going to get rid of her. Do do do. Ooh. You've heard me talk about this before. This is Serenade from Quo. Absolutely love it. Um, perfect color for me. Keep it here. Ugh, this one. I am a rock star from Real Her. This came in a boxy charm. Oh, this is in the shade Lady Love. I really wanted to like these. Because what the brand stands for is great. But uh, listen to that. Like, it's so... Ugh. I'm gonna get rid of it. The formula's terrible. It smells bad. Okay, this isn't a Kat Von D Everlasting lipstick. It's in the shade Double Dare. Um, I love this. Gonna keep it. <laughs> Next up, this is one of the Revlon Ultra HD mattes, just the mattes, not the, um, again, this is really pretty. I'm going to keep this one just in case I can get some use out of it <clears throat> in the spring and summer again, or even, I mean, even now, it doesn't really matter, does it? This ColourPop in Secret Stash. <clears throat> I don't love it. I never reach for it, so I'm going to bid her farewell. Sometimes you just got to. 
Okay, this is one of the Revlon mattes in the shade, shade Siren and Scarlet. I love it, the color. I just never, ever reach for it anymore. I feel like I've got so many other reds that I really love and gravitate towards. So, nah. Yeah. This is from Stila. I love Stila. Oh, this is in the shade Sherry. This is amazing. It's like a tinted balm, kind of. Well, there's color to it, but it's just a balm. It smells like mint. It's very comfortable. I love the color. It's just all the right, all the right things for me. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, this is one of the infallible L'Oreal infallible lip paints. This one is in the shade Sultry Sangria. Like, yeah, it's it's fine, but I never ever reach for it. But I don't have any problem with the formula or the brand. It's all good. Just it's just not. For me, this is another one of those Revlon. I love this color, but again, it's not, you know, when you want a color to work, but it just doesn't. And this is that. It's pink in the afternoon. Such a classic, classic shade. And I'm sad it doesn't work for me. Okay, we, we're down to the final two. This is from Rimmel London. It's just, again, just a gorgeous red, which I love but um, not what I gravitate towards. So nothing wrong with it. Just I'm gonna find someone who can show it more love than I do. This is Ibiza from NYX. And again, it's just, it's no good for me. It smells good, looks good. Getting rid of it. <clears throat> okay, you guys, let's take a look at the final tally and see how we did. Okay, so here's what we're keeping. Still a ton, like way too many. <laughs> There's 35 of them. <laughs> but we've definitely pared it down some. So let's look now at what we're getting rid of. And here's what we're getting rid of. That's 23 lipsticks. That's better than I thought we did. I am so happy. I feel lighter already. So yes, I'm going to get my mom and sister to come over and see what they'd like. Yay. <laughs> and thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys on Wednesday with a, a tea talk video. We'll also be talking about um, NaNoWriMo and Vlogmas coming up. So I'll see you then guys. Bye.